What's up everyone, this is Simonite 8610 and today we have an Atlantean deck profile. I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this deck profile. It is more of a uh, budget for fun version of the Atlantean and uh, since the mermails aren't out yet, that's the reason why I'm going ahead and uh, and doing this build. Uh, they're not too competitive yet, but when the mermails do come out, I think they'll be really competitive. I do have the Japanese Mermel cards, of course, you guys saw from my Abyss Rising box opening that was uh, Japanese. So if you guys want me to uh, make a deck profile using the Mermel cards, I can use my Japanese ones. And uh, yeah, we don't have to wait for the English Abyss Rising then. If you guys want that, of course, hit the like button and uh, of course tell me in the comments as well, you know. That way I know you guys want to see a deck profile using those. Anyway, let's go on ahead with this build. Like I said, it's more of a budget one. I can't stress that enough. Uh, we're going with two Poseidra the Atlantean Dragon. That's a pretty awesome card. Not as good as some uh, previous structure deck cards that were the main one, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, three Atlantean Dragoons. In this build, we're using more of the Atlanteans' effect where they can be discarded and use abilities, which is really nice. And also, we're using more of the effects like Dragoon has, where uh, level three and lower monsters can attack directly. So you'll notice that probably throughout the video. Uh, three Atlantean Marksman. has a good uh, discard ability, you know, and uh, it's just really good one. You know, it's, it was one of the better Atlanteans, so I like running three of it. Uh, two of the Atlantean Heavy Infantry. Uh, I like only two of this one. I know some people might say go three because it gives you another normal summon, but really two is like seems like a better number for me. So I really like the two. One Atlantean Attack Squad. It doesn't have the discard ability as the other Atlanteans, so that's the reason it's only at one for me. Uh, it's all right, but it's just not as good as the others. Let's just say that. I guess it's better than the normal monster one, though. But, you know, that's the only reason I'm running one. It seems like a good number. Uh, three, Deep Sea Diva. Of course, this card pretty much searches out the whole deck, and what's really nice is that it was actually reprinted in the structure deck, so yeah, it should be a lot easier to get. Gives you access to Synchro Monsters, too. It is a tuner. Uh, let's see, uh, two, War of Atlantis. I like it a little better in terraforming for this deck right now, because Legendary Ocean does help a lot, decreasing levels like War of Atlantis himself, and turning it to a level 3, which will help out, of course, when you can attack directly and stuff, like using Dragoon's ability. And it already has a 1,900 attack, which is really nice. So I kind of like it a little bit better in terraforming uh, in this build. Uh, let's go for uh, 3 Abyss Soldiers. It's a really nice card. It works using uh, the Atlantean's abilities, you know, the discard ones. So you can discard the Atlanteans and you activate its uh, Abyss Soldier's ability, which is really nice. And it has a pretty good attack, and uh, being a 4-star, that's really nice as well. You might hear my stomach growl, too. I'm sorry. I'm hungry during this video. <laughs> uh, two, Call of the Atlanteans. Good card. It, activating your opponent's turn when it's about to end, and then you can, you know, go ahead and make C and what all uh, with it, so that's what's really nice. Pot of Avarice, I know I didn't come in the structure deck, but yeah, we're using it anyway. Same with Heavy Storm, uh, Monster Reborn, you're kind of your basic staples. Dark Hole, Three Legendary Oceans, like I said, helps out with uh, decreasing the levels and giving me a little bit of attack boost. Two Savage, I'm glad that got a reprint. That card's kind of hard to find. Uh, I'm using a two Forbidden Lance. You can see that we're going to pretend that this heroic card is a Forbidden Lance. Uh, it was, I'm supposed to get one in the mail soon, but I didn't want to wait on it. I want to go ahead and do their profile for you guys. And I know Forbidden Lance is a little pricey, but you can probably switch that with something else if you want. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and use Forbidden Lance because I do recommend it. Uh, two, Mystical Space Typhoon. Alright, and that's all the spells. For our traps, we have two Compulsory. Good card. Uh, two, Bottomless Trap Hole. Two, Solemn Warning. And uh, Agus of the Dragon Lord, which is a really cool card. It uh, it's kind of a funny tech card because uh, it can stop some destruction cards. So I kind of wanted to try it out. I saw a few people using it online that were running Atlanteans, and I figured, you know what? Let's try it out. And it actually is kind of funny. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to try that card out. You can change it out if you want to. It's kind of fun to use as well because it did uh, it, it did show up in the structure deck. So you know, it should be pretty easy to get one. Alright, now we get to the extra deck. The extra deck is a little pricey, I'll admit. Uh, it's more though you can change around some things that'll make it fit, you know, how much money you have, or hopefully you already have a bunch of these cards. And a few of them are even getting reprinted, so that's why I still kind of consider a budget deck. But the extra deck can always be kind of problematic. Hopefully it won't be too hard for people to get, though. Uh, Formula Synchron, it's possible to use, so you might as well go for it. It helps you draw. Armory Arm, another one that's possible. It can come in handy in tight spots. Uh, Teach a Happy Librarian, that was reprinted recently. I'm using my uh, Shonen Jump one. But it was reprinted recently, so I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to get. 
uh, Catastor. I'm really surprised this card hadn't got a reprint. I know it got turned into an Ultimate card, you know, but it, it's still, what is it, $20? Under $20 probably by now? A little under. Black Rose, that's not too bad. Like I said, hopefully you already have a few of these, though, like Black Rose, that's been out for a pretty good while. I love my Ghost Rare one, it looks awesome. Uh, gun Ear, uh, this card was pretty cheap at the beginning. Hopefully some of you guys uh, saved your Gun Ears, because it's a pretty good card. I'm gonna run one for now on this build. I'm thinking I might should go to the two. Uh, this is gonna end up, which is probably bad for Ice Bears, but um, if you know more people realize how good this card actually is in these water type decks, you know, with the Abyss Rising come out and stuff, we might see another Ice Dragon getting banned. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, Stars Dragon, you guys know I love my Ghost Stars Dragons. I'm not usually one of those people that love, you know, having certain rarities, but when it's the extra deck, I always love trying to get Ghost Rares and stuff. Uh, Scrap Dragon, that got a Reaper recently, so, yeah, not hard to get at all. I'm running two Gachi Gachi Genzetsus. Uh, one of the reasons why is, uh, sort of like Forbidden Lance, I don't have uh, Digusto Phoenix yet, and that is, you know, of course, the rank 2 uh, Digusto monster. Uh, I don't have that card yet. I do recommend running one of those in one Gachi Gachi. But if you don't have it, go ahead and uh, use Gachi Gachi. Uh, let's see. Live here. That's getting reprinted, so that shouldn't be too hard for a bunch of you guys to get. Uh, that's getting reprinted in the tens, so don't go ahead and spend the money for it if you don't have it. Uh, number 17, Leviathan Dragon. Like I said, love my Ghosters when I have them. Uh, two wind up Zen Mains. Uh, that got the reprint, so, you know, those are really good to have now. That should be really easy. And uh, a Maestro Symphony uh, Gin. Uh, you can replace my stroke with another good near if you want to use another good near. I mainly just put my stroke in there because it is possible with our level four monsters, and I kind of feel like I should have at least one rank four monster. And I kind of like my stroke better in Utopia um, most these days because uh, of the whole mind control and then the Utopia ray, your Utopia, and uh, also my stroke can get past a lot of the destruction cards we have now, like the two mirror force and all this format. So I I really like my stroke. It's probably my favorite uh, rank four that we have at the moment. Uh, not really counting some of the new dual terminal cards that are out right now, but it's pretty awesome, because I do like Lawful Chain. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think about this deck? Like I said, this is more of a for fun thing, you know, so don't judge it too harshly. Uh, but it's not going to be too much for fun whenever uh, Mermels come out, because then I'm going to try to build a really competitive build. And like I said, I do have the Japanese ones, so we can probably go ahead and start to work on a competitive version of it. So yeah, just tell me in the comments, like I said, like that video, and that will show me more than anything that you guys will want to see... Uh, 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 Mermel uh, Atlantean build. I forgot what they were called for a second, sorry. And uh, also, if you like this video, I will work on more deck profiles and duels, especially. We gotta have the duels. I know I keep forgetting, things just keep coming up. We will have duels. We will have deck profiles. I'm working on a bunch of different stuff right now. Uh, Rock Swarm, Gym Knights, Gishkis. Uh, I might even track Heroics with uh, Abyss Rising coming out. And like I said, I'm gonna build like, you know, I think the Atlantean Mermel thing, I'm actually really tempted. Uh, kind of tempted on my dull chase, but I still might just pass on that. Uh, and just some random stuff. You guys know of a random deck you think I should build, of course. Send me a message. Leave that in the comments. Whatever. You know, and I will try to build it, and we'll try to have some duels. Also, tell me what kind of duels you want to see, and I want to make the videos you guys want to see, of course. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, as always. Uh, it really does mean a lot when you like the video. And you subscribe. It really does help, and it supports me. Um... Uh, and, uh, yeah, just, you know, like I've said many times, just send me a message if you want to see certain videos, you know, whether it be deck profiles, duels, pack openings, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'll try to make those videos. Anyway, remember that I have a Yu-Gi-Oh! contest going on. I'll probably have an annotation or at least it in the description. And, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So, later, guys, and have a good day. Hope you've enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to check out the next and previous buttons that are down below so you can see some of the past and future videos that I've made. And also be sure to check out the two featured videos that are on both sides of me. Thanks again for watching and be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later, guys.